Okay, so we've just created a list. Okay, they were the three overviews, remember? And now we want to create a web form. <clears throat> so what we do is go up to the tab called web form and click on that. And I'm going to go for this big green button which says create a new web form. And this now loads the web form builder in front of us. Okay, and I haven't changed this list up here. See the list name still? Just always make sure that you're on the right list because when you've clicked on web form and create a web form, it's doing it for this list. Okay, so as long as you've got the right list up there, then we're in the right place. Now, here is the web form. I'm scrolling down. See, there's three overviews design, settings, and then publish. Okay, so we design the form. We set up the settings and then we publish it onto our website. <clears throat> right, so design the form. When we're designing the form, you've got all these very fancy colors and you can click through all of these and play and see what you like. But the most important thing to think of is, well, what do I want someone to sign up for? And we want to make sure that we answer the question, what's in it for me? What's in it for the person who's signing up on your site? So as you'll see on my site, people sign up to watch a video or people sign up to get free reports. Um, you want to give them value. So whatever the value is, that's what we want to capture with this form. Now, what I mean by that is in this header, we want to say, I want to click on this header here, click on the little label and say to download my free report that will give you lots of value put in your details below and I'll click save now you have you would want to put your own words in there do not copy that that's that's just lazy words but I'm trying to show you that this is where you'd put the words to entice people to sign up below okay now also some people ask me well how many fields should I have in here Jamie and you the number of fields depends on the value. If you're going to give someone a free holiday for a weekend, then they'll probably give you their six children's addresses, the date of birth, the passport numbers, etc. Phone number, fax number, everything inside leg measurement. But if you're just wanting a free report and we want to then keep in touch with them to start a conversation, which is what our aim is, all we need is the name and the email address. Okay? So always remember what's in it for me, what's in it for the other person, and just leave name and email. You can resize it if you want. Okay, just click this. You can change the submit button. See, I'm just hovering over it and you can click edit if you want. Um, we respect your email privacy. That's always a good one to leave. Powered by Aweber, I'd actually get rid of that. So just click on the red to get rid of. Um, and then you can write something in the footer if you want. Or you can go up here okay and then see these tabs here so we I can actually get rid of the footer click the footer and it disappears at the bottom so it just tidies it up a bit so that's the design of my form and you can add the counter or powered by you can add an image if you want you can add more text if you want that's here so have a play um, with this builder as much as you want in the design phase but when you finish with the design you need to click to save web form before you click go to step two. So click save web form first. 